right, this is gonna be the new version of Tuesday, Jack Frost, okay? So the warm up's gonna start with partner number one is on a bike. Partner number two is gonna grab a set of dumbbells and they're going to hit 10 good dumbbell chest flies, just like so, so nine and 10. And he's gonna hop up and this is a new movement. We're gonna call them 3D flies. Travis and Flores tried him out last week and they said that your rear delts are gonna pop like 3D. So a couple of things, he's in a bent reverse fly position. So his hips are back, his knees are bent, his weight is in his heels, his chest is facing the ground, his arms are at a dead hang, but instead of coming back and hugging a tree, he's gonna keep his elbows almost straight and he's gonna bring them back to a 45 degree angle. So that's gonna engage your rear delt and also your lat. It is slow and controlled. I want you to see it from the front. Just like so, he's gonna get nine and 10. He is going to go straight back down to the ground. And this time he's gonna get eight chest flies, seven and eight. And then he's gonna go back up and get eight 3D flies. So we're gonna go 10, eight, six, four, two, all partner number one. And then we're gonna switch. And then I would come in and I would do 10, eight, six, four, two. That is your warm up. And then we're gonna do this pick your pump style so that there is enough equipment for everyone. Station number one, we'll be back here on the block. So this is gonna be dumbbell bench press. So you'll have benches in the back. And then you can lay out a couple set of dumbbells, but they're gonna ultimately probably get their own and then move up because it is lonely at the bottom. So it's 20 to two. So Dev's gonna go back. He's gonna hit 20 good dumbbell presses. So again, his elbows are going down to that 45 degree angle. He is touching his pecs for 19 and 20 and then he's gonna come up he's gonna tag me in i'm gonna get 20 we'll do 18s 16 14 all the way down to two so that's station two that's gonna be on the black box or the back block and station number two is gonna be right here on the black boxes and it's gonna be seven by seven heavy dumbbell row so dev's gonna take his dumbbell he's gonna be in a three-point stance he is going to take that dumbbell and he is going to move that dumbbell straight back to his hips. That dumbbell is not going up to his chest. Show him the elbow going straight up to your chest. That's not where we're at, okay? He's going to take that all the way back. He's gonna get a full lat work. He's gonna get six and seven, and then I'm gonna get seven. We're gonna stay on our right side for seven by seven, and then we're gonna do the same thing on our left for seven by seven. That's station two. Station three is gonna be on the green, and this is going to be a switch set of supine rows and angels and then number one will start on a bike part number two make sure that they come in from this side so that their weight is facing against the big part of um the bar holder okay so they're going to come in this way they're going to be facing this when you set up the benches and make sure they're all set up this way okay you're going to want to weight these guys down a 45 plate on each side so he's going to go in he's going to have a wide stance and he is going to pull his body up, that is a supine row. It is harder as our legs are further away, just like a body weighted skull crusher, as he brings his knees in, that's gonna get a little bit easier. He's gonna get 39 and 40, and then he's gonna release, he's gonna go under, and he's gonna go right in to 10 good angels, full range of motion, clapping at the top, clapping his glutes for nine and 10. And then he's gonna tag me in, I'm gonna do 40 and 10, and then it's gonna be a switch set. So next round will be 30s and 20s, and the next round will be 20s and 30s and then 10s and 40s. So that's gonna be round three or station three on the green. Station four is gonna be on the gray. And so I want the plates to be set up for long boys, but I want them started on this line. So I want you to cone this just to protect fingers. Partner number one is gonna do a long boy there and back and they have the clock. So I'm gonna take the long boy. I'm gonna go all the way down all the way back, but I'm gonna stop it right here at the cones. Meanwhile, uh, partner number two, he's gonna be doing a diamond push-up into a wide push-up. Diamond push-up into a wide push-up. So really make sure that they are still uh, maintaining their form and driving those elbows back, especially in that wide push-up. Know that they can go on their knees just like so. And again, they do not have a rep count. They are just going continuously until your plate pusher gets back. They're gonna do that for five rounds each person.